All right. Let's. Oh, okay. I was like, what's going on here? This is. I'm like, I'm. Am I on Tom McDonald's or am I on Ryan Up Church's page? Because it says church. This is Tom McDonald and Brandon Hart featuring Nova Rockefeller. Come on. We love Tom. And Nova. And we'll see about Brandon. He's got some. I'm just kidding. I'm not sure. We, we might love Brandon too. Let's just go. I need a short drink or a long prayer. I've been sober, but I don't care. I'm so scared of my own self. I get no help and that's no fair. So don't go there. I've been hell and back. I got scorched hair in this Gucci cap. I got empty bottles and a million bottles. I regret swallowing the Ativan. Yeah, let's be real. I resent the way that I feel. I pretend that it's cool, but I miss getting drunk. And I'm angry that God doesn't help when I kneel. I said my prayers when I got clean, it just got worse. I quit doing drugs and I pleaded with Jesus to save me, but he didn't hear my words. The don't work, it hurts. I went to church, now I need liquid courage. Whiskey in my glass, I take the knives out of my back to stir it. Go to hell and back again, then show you burns to prove I earned it. I need shots of God to gain the strength I need. I'm just a person. I Whoa. Okay. That is very deep and very personal, and a lot of people feel that way, especially when they hit rock bottom. Um, I do not expect that. I know that he's been sober, and he's spoken openly about this, about battling his addictions, and I mean, that is very courageous. And I'm not even going to lecture anybody about God or anything like that. Everybody has their own relationship with God. Some people don't even. The fact of the matter is he's always there and that's it. So whether you believe that or not is up to you. What I love is we hear that all the time. Everybody uses alcohol as a crutch. Liquid courage. We hear that all the time. And when does it start becoming a problem? You know, I don't have a problem. I can quit any time, really. I, I've been a nurse a long time. I, I've heard that with every kind of drug, every kind of drink. And it's even worse when it has to do with families, when there's little ones involved. So... And I'm not judging anybody, I'm just saying this is reality. So. It, it not only affects the one that's hurting inside, but everybody else around him as well. And it takes a lot. And I don't recommend taking Ativan with alcohol for sure. You don't do that ever. You won't wake up. Some people might, but I just, I don't want to say too much more. Need shots of God to gain the strength I need. I'm just a person. I pray on my way to the liquor store that they lock the door. Cause I'll lay in my grave if the whiskey pours like it did before. I'm scared. I send out a prayer. Can anybody hear me? Is anybody there? Cause honestly it hurts. in the dark drowning the whiskey and i went in so far you say you miss me i'm on a ship in a bottle so say goodbye at the shore break the glass so you'll find me i'm not who i was before close my eyes in the darkness and hold on through the storm i'm a wreck in a bottle i wasn't built for a war those church pews bright lights whiskey glasses bottles of booze make sure it days Long nights, the bottle, the Bible, I didn't know what to choose. I pray on my way to the liquor store that they lock the door, cause I'll lay in my grave. If the whiskey pours like it did before, I'm scared. I send out a prayer. Can anybody hear me? Is anybody there? Cause honestly, it hurts, and every day is worse. Bible 
poster with me My eyes can't see from the bottles of whiskey I don't believe anybody will miss me And I'm on my knees, tell me God are you listening? I really felt this one. I don't ever like to see her cry. Oh my god, it is so sad. Um, it affected me that I feel like Tom really is talking from experience. I felt that this was really, really good. It was very personal. It wasn't just all fun and games. This, this was very true words and I mean nobody has a perfect life nobody um I remember when I felt really sad this was a long time ago I mean I always have up and ups and downs but there was one time when I was so very sad it was before kids before Jedi which is my husband I remember I drank so much wine I can't remember how much wine I drank but I drank a lot and I think I was still drunk the next day, but I mean, I was absolute Casper. I, it was horrible and that's just not a way to be. You're fighting sadness with a bottle of sadness. That's not going to help. So anyway. Um, my friend Jerry always used to tell me when I, because I do have to take medication for depression. There's just no two ways about it. Um, he would always tell me things look better in the morning. Just wait till the morning. And so that would just basically mean just give it one more day. Just one more day. So, I've been here one more day. <laughs>